Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. Now guys, you're looking at a few clips of our front porch. Just some decorations that I have out here for fall. But I wanted to share with you that they are largely thrifted items. I mean, the table, the chair, and I painted it to match the bench. A can of spray paint and it all came together. So it's good to go thrifting. In just a little while, we will be singing Deck the Halls and guess what? Someone will be feeling sad and depressed because they won't have the money to do just that. Well, I wanted to get this video in your hands because you can deck the halls with thrifted furniture and still have a great looking home. I do that from the front porch to the back porch in our house. Now, I have toured cash liquidations with you guys before, but there have been some updates. Not only do they have used hotel furniture, now they're carrying furniture from Wayfair. That's right. Wayfair. Pay attention to the policy before you buy. All sales are final. And for the items that you buy that are too big to go into your car, well, including the day that you purchased it, you have 11 days to pick it up. Now these are those large mirrors that you slide on a cleat and they just lean against the wall. They look like a giant door. $10. And when I decided to get one, they were gone. Now they have tons of mirrors and they're very inexpensive and I know I see a lot of DIYs on YouTube making things very similar to them but I want to say if you can look around your liquidation stores you might very well can save some time and money and buy a beautiful mirror like one of these and believe me liquidation stores are popping up everywhere because a lot of your big stores well they need outlets for all of the furniture that people can't afford to buy so where are they going to liquidation stores remember this mirror it's in my dining room painted silver now and just like before there is a variety of artwork to fit your style i mean the price is five dollars ten dollars and so on and the thing is the frames are super expensive so you're really getting a great bargain i love this picture here it's super long and i can imagine it above a bed and it's only 19 dollars now a lot of the home decor items will be a little pricey or simply not for sale. But you may just run across a great piece like this one. I saw this in a high-end magazine and I fell in love with it. Now it's solid steel, guys. It is super heavy. It's $19. And I purchased it to hang in my office. Now I love this ottoman and things like this go pretty fast there. So I purchased two of them. I am so excited to have them. The makeover will come later. Now this would be a fabulous makeover, but it's pretty big guys. And here's an example of how it looks in a living room. Isn't that nice in that white faux fur? Beautiful. Now we could only find one of these ottomans, so I didn't buy it. Now I didn't get a clear shot of the price of this bench with the brown suede top on it, but I think it was around 59. I love the way this bench is made, but it's too pricey. Now I'm not sure if they control the prices there at Cash Liquidation or Wayfair is controlling the prices because some things I did have some questions about. And when I did my research, most of the coffee tables had the exact same price that they were online. Now I love all three of these tables. Now this summer we had an awesome garage sale and some of the proceeds paid for my beautiful glass top table. I love a guilt free purchase. Now let's be real here. There was a savings of only $10 and no assembly was required. Now if you were to meet my husband, he will tell you that 90% of the time I am very thrifty. Now keep in mind that these are used items, so they're not going to be perfect. Make sure that you give it a thorough inspection. Rock the chair, lift the chair up, turn it over. Make sure that there isn't a leg that is broken. Even though these stores pull the broken items into a special area, you still need to know that the chair or whatever it is that you are buying is in good condition. 
Remember, there are no refunds. Now, there are great prices on the items that they normally would carry from the hotels, you know, the $49 chairs, etc., $39, $59, $69. You've seen the prices. But like this one, this being a Wayfair chair, then the prices are comparable to what is online but if it is the used furniture you can still save money there now these places are like all other places the enticement to buy can be overwhelming so don't buy it if you don't need it and if you don't have a place to put it please do not buy it now we need two more chairs to complete our set at our dining room table now when i saw these chairs i knew they were as close to these chairs as i was ever going to get guess what they were in the garage that's a project now i have been wanting to do a makeover on the chaise for our master bedroom but i never found one but now it's too late i have chairs there now, this summer was all about transforming furniture there's a playlist attached to this video now a red or orange ticket means this is the last one now i remember going to this place about maybe 10 plus years ago and they used to negotiate but they don't anymore now I've been in the market for a rug for my dining room for about a year now. They have a great selection there of rugs from Wayfair. However, the prices aren't exactly satisfying, at least not for me. Now I did look at this rug on Wayfair and it was also featured on House. And basically it's about $199 on Wayfair. I did buy it, it was $129. So maybe I'll get those two chairs completed before Christmas. Now my Thanksgiving tablescape video has been posted. I'll put the link in the information box and on an iCard. Now I love this beautiful credenza. It would be great in my dining room for storage. The cost was $169. Amazing price, I purchased it. Now as much as I love painting furniture, I would not paint these beautiful pieces. That wood is stunning. Now, as always, I will shop for what I can afford. And like I said, I love thrifting so that when I do splurge on something, I'm in a comfortable zone financially. And that's why I wanted to share this video with you because you might find something within your comfort zone. Now, I'm pretty sure that this sign applied to select headboards, not just any headboard now more than ever this time of year you're going to hear liquidation closeout sales final everything must go and that will draw you into the store and you will be encouraged to spend money because of the time of year please use wisdom because the mistakes we make right now we will end up in the long run suffering from and that is not what i want to do with this video i want you to know that there are options out there if you can afford the 19 dollars table that's your table if you can afford the 200 dollars table that's your table but stay within your budget and be comfortable and leave stores knowing that you can pay your bills on time now i'm always on the lookout for places like this i know it's not the place that you want to get all dressed up to go into but i wear my sneakers and i make sure that i'm comfortable because if i have to sit in a chair to make sure that it is solid then that's what i'm going to do earlier this summer i began Again, purging and just donating items and of course a couple of weeks ago we had a garage sale so I got rid of a lot of stuff now I live in a military town and there are so many options for buying furniture buku.com Craigslist let it go I mean it goes on and on because as you know with the military people move in and they move out and they move quickly we're not a military family but we take advantage of those great savings and like this liquidation store we know that there are options out there and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this video and I hope that you're preparing to have a wonderful holiday season. Now, I am currently filming videos with Christmas DIYs, and I'm so excited to share them with you. Please subscribe if you have not already done so. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.